Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another tip. Today's is a good one. It has to do with Texas rigs. I've got for you three simple things that you can do to your Texas rigs to make them run properly, to prevent line twists, to prevent breakoffs, to improve hookups. These are things that are really simple to do. They're not even big adjustments, but it's more about making sure that you're doing them and not doing the wrong things. And in this case, guys, I can assure you, if you use these three simple tips, you'll become a better Texas rig fisherman. Before I get into these tips, I want to remind you about the additional channel that I'm involved with called Bass Fishing Declassified. It's myself and a bunch of other anglers who are providing content on a regular basis that's all geared towards helping others catch more fish. So make sure you go subscribe to that channel called Bass Fishing Declassified. The link is in the video description as well. Really good way to uh, get some additional content from yours truly and some other great anglers. At the same time, guys, if you want to support the channel, please make sure you use the Tackle Warehouse affiliate link that I provide in the video description. It's a great way to show your support to me, and it's something that I truly do appreciate because every little bit that's generated from that goes right back into this channel, and it's very much appreciated. All right, let's get into today's tip. A Texas rig is one of the all-time best fish catching tools. We can use so many different plastics with a Texas rig and you can fish them from super shallow to extremely deep water. They're one of the best tools out there. In fact, if you were to tell me I could only have one bait any time of the year for any place I'm fishing, a Texas rig would have to be one of the first choices because of the versatility of it. Now they are rather easy to rig up, but at the same time, if you make some small adjustments to it, they'll just be better off. You know, you, if you make the wrong changes to it, it can create some headaches for you. But if you got, you know, you recognize those, you're just going to be a better fisherman with them. So let's get right into it. Texas rig here that I've got rigged up is just a standard pit boss with I in this case I've got an unpegged weight it doesn't matter if it's pegged unpegged even either case this is a Texas rig setup here so once you've rigged your Texas rig the first thing that I want to recommend to you is do not leave your plastic bait down around the hook eye so in this case you can see the knot is exposed I strongly recommend that when you thread your bait on you make sure that you go, uh, you thread on enough of the plastic bait so that when you slide it up into position, you can slide the plastic up over the knot. So in this case, you can see I've got no knot exposed. And what that means is when you're fishing this bait, if your weight is sliding around, the plastic of the bait will protect your knot. That will very, very clearly help you prevent more breakoffs on the water because you're using the plastic bait to cover that knot. At the same time, what that will do in a lot of instances is prevent you from getting a lot of uh, slime and some grass caught on your bait because a lot of times it's the tag end of your knot that catches on grass and slime. In this case, if you're covering it up, you don't have to worry about it nearly as much. And at the same time, you don't have to worry about your weight hurting the knot. So that's the first tip that I want to provide to you. The second tip has to do with rigging your plastic bait. You know, in this case, a lot of times the baits that come out today have a specific groove in the bait where your hook goes. So it's a hook slot. That allows your bait to be hooked perfectly down the center, which means that when this bait is coming through the water, it's coming through in swimming in the the proper position it's going to just come through glide real nice it's not going to spin one issue that i see a lot of people make though is that once they maybe catch a fish or they've been using this bait for a while maybe it gets torn up here maybe it gets torn down here and what they end up doing is really trying to counter that so maybe you bring the hook off to the side a little bit and come through you know the ribbing side so you're out of that hook channel the problem with that is now your bait is going to want to spin in the water and that's going to lead to a lot of line twist. It's something that often goes unnoticed and yes, you're extending the life of your plastic slightly, but in reality, you may be going through a lot of line faster than you normally would because now you're getting a lot of line twist. 
that's something that you want to pay attention to. You do not want that line to twist in your in your line because it will lead to uh, a weakening of it, and at the same time, it's going to lead to potential uh, backlashes. It could lead to you continuously getting caught on the guides on your rod. It's just going to really hurt your efficiency on the water. So in my opinion, you're better off putting a new plastic bait on that allows you to rig it properly right down the center of that hook channel. So that's the second simple tip. The third here, guys, and this goes back to if the top of your bait starts getting torn up and starts sliding down and your bait is having a hard time staying up on the hook, you know, what'll happen a lot of times is you, you'll bring your bait in and it'll look like this, right? Your bait slides down from the, the eye of the hook. One simple thing you can do with that, that I've been doing for a long time now with really good success, is I take any of my used pegs or my bobber stops from, from Texas rigs, and then I will go ahead and just slide that over the hook. And it takes a little bit of practice to get right in the center of it, just like that. I'll slide it right over the barb, just like that, and slide that up to that 90 degree turn where it will sit perfectly. And at that point, you can see I've got the 90 degree turn. I'll go ahead and re-rig this. At that point, it becomes difficult. You can see I'm pulling down on the bait and it does not want to slide over that. So that allows your bait to be held up in the position that it needs to be. And therefore, you're not wasting casts where your bait slid down the shank of the hook and therefore is spinning through the water. So again, that will also limit some of your line twists, but it's something that you can do really easily to prolong the life of your baits. You don't have to do it uh, just when your bait gets torn up. I have this on at all the times and I rig right over that. It's just something that has made my Texas rig fishing that much more efficient on the water and has solved a lot of problems for me. So those are three really small adjustments that you can make, but I assure you guys, those three things will allow you to become a better Texas rig fisherman. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and stay tuned. We'll have another good tip for you tomorrow.